Hey, Teh. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, Alhamdulillah. You're welcome. We're going to do 10 quickies with you today. I'm mm. Teh, and it's for NSTP Online. Okay, 10 quickies. All right, that sounds fun. Okay, let's go. So, okay. how is your 2018 so far? Oh my God, 2018 has been the best year for all of us in Joven Mandagi. I think, um, Alhamdulillah, we just finished all our Raya collection launches and we just had our Raya sales and everything. It went great. And last month, we just launched the last collection of Raya, which is called Jovian Lux Shawal. And the response has been great. I hope that towards the end of the year, it's going to be even better. I'm hoping that 2019 will be better than 2018, but I'm very satisfied with all our collection this year. Okay, so what is the top three best fashion trends from Raya? Hmm, top three best trends for Raya this year. From what I can see, number one, people like prints pretty much uh, this year. And secondly is that people love to go into traditional looks. So for our collection itself, our best selling collection is coming from the Balik Kampung collection because everything from Balik Kampung is traditional. We had batik prints, songket, we had a kabaya looks, baju kurung, etc. And the third best top trend for this year, Raya, is something that is soft and feminine. So I can see that there's a lot of uh, usage in uh, soft fabrics like chiffon, organza, and also tool. Okay, that's cool. You've done lots of collaborations with um, notable people like uh, Princess Joho, Princess Tunku Amina. Can you tell us about uh, how is it working with her? Wow, working with Tunku Tun Amina was the most privileged opportunity and also I would say experience that I had uh, throughout my uh, career for the past 11 years and uh, she's a wonderful person. She's so helpful, she has a great um, fashion sense and she herself is actually a fashion designer. She was uh, graduated as a fashion designer from La Salle, Singapore if I'm not mistaken. And um, during our working um, period together two years ago, we had so much fun uh, doing that particular collection, Tunkutun Amina for Jovian. Um, she did give us a lot of input on creating the whole uh, collection. In fact, she have designed some of the looks as well as the detailing. Um, she's very much like me. We pay so much attention into details and she's actually very fussy, just like me. Uh, so I think we both share almost the same character and also principles uh, when it comes to working and also creating fashion line. So it was definitely one of the best partnership uh, and collaboration that I could say uh, in the whole, uh, in, I mean, as compared to any other collaboration that I've had before. Awesome. Uh, you are also recognized as a Malindo designer, mm -hmm. meaning Malaysian and Indonesian. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about this and do you mix both elements uh, of both countries into your creations? So yes, my mom is Indonesian. I was born in Indonesia as well, Jakarta. Uh, having to have that Indonesian blood in me, I think it's definitely one of the best advantage that I get to be exposed by the Indonesian culture a lot. And the fact that I also go back to Indonesia a lot, I have seen so many trends from Indonesia which I could bring back to Malaysia and implement it to almost all my work since I started. Started. And by having that, I have been labelled or given the title as a Malindo designer, having to have the Mal Malaysian and also Indonesian touch. And that makes me different. Um, being Indonesian, uh, and even if you to see Indonesian fashion trend, they are very daring as compared to Malaysian. Malaysian are very conservative. We like things that is traditional. We don't really like to be experimental, unlike Indonesian. Indonesian love to experiment new things, new trends, and also they pretty much catch up with international trends faster than how we are in Malaysia. That's interesting. Okay, do you know that August is Merdeka Day for both countries, Indonesia and Malaysia? Of course! So, Tanggal 31! <laughs> so can you tell us what does Merdeka mean to you and mm -hmm. do you celebrate both dates? So uh, Malaysia and Indonesia shares uh, almost, I mean, quite, quite um, uh, a short gap of our Independence Day. Indonesia will celebrate theirs on the 17th of August, whereas Malaysia will celebrate ours on the 31st of August. And for me, Independence Day is like 
the celebration of freedom. Uh, we are the new generation who love freedom. I Me mean, as a fashion designer, I love freedom. And being in fashion, it means a lot for me to express my personality and also my ideas through my work. And I think having to have uh, the country to celebrate Independence Day every year, it gives a very good spirit to all of us to appreciate the freedom that we have and also the peace that we have gained in this country. Okay, so you and your wife mm -hmm. uh, are heavily involved in business. So how do you guys balance work and family time, especially you have your adorable baby? Mm -hmm. How is she, by the way? Can you show us her photo? Hang on, one more time. <laughs> Phone. Okay, so obviously myself and uh, my wife, Nina, we both are workaholic. I mean, I love my job very much. She loves her businesses very much. But despite that, we always put family as our top priority and uh, it's, it's, there's no, no question or no typical answer that I could give how do we balance between life, I mean our personal life and also work, you know. Uh, there's no meaning of like, oh, I will put work first or family first, no. Family always come first. So if there's anything happen between family or someone who's sick some, or if there's any special occasion or anything, we have to make time for family first. Business comes second. Yeah. And Alhamdulillah, yes, we have been um, blessed with such a beautiful baby. She's our little princess. Um, she has been an amazing baby to both of us. Uh, very easy to handle. Uh, Nika, sorry, Janelle Nika Mandagi. Uh, that's her name. Uh, my Wahati. That's her. Can you see her oh, face? Yeah, we call her Bobot Chabobot uh, because she's <laughs> <What is> more. more. <laughs> yeah, um, she's definitely um, our little angel. Uh, she has given me so much uh, happiness uh, to both of us. Um, I mean, life is so much more meaningful to have her in our life today. Yeah. That's lovely. Okay. One question, mm -hmm. who is your favorite actress? Hmm, my favorite actress, I would say Angelina Jolie. <laughs> I have like that crush since I was young, every time that I watch all her movies. And my favorite movie from Angelina Jolie would be The Tomb Raider. Okay, cool. From your Instagram, we see that you like to cook. What is your favorite dish to cook and hmm. who is it for? Okay, so my favorite dish to cook, I love to cook pasta because I love Italian food so much. I love Italian culture, even Italian designers. So pasta is that particular dish that I like to cook because simple, easy to prepare, and I can really do well. <laughs> okay, you can cook for me one day. Inshallah, <laughs> why not? Okay, what is your guilty pleasure? Be honest. Guilty pleasure, hmm, I would say dessert because, um, you know, no matter how um, busy I am and, and I'm, I'm quite a, uh, a health freak, you see, I, I'm very conscious when it comes to my physique and also my health. Um, I really take care of my food. Uh, I make sure that every day I would definitely eat anything that's healthy only, but sometimes you do want to indulge and the only way that for me to indulge is by having good dessert. And uh, I used to be eating chocolate every night before sleep, but I managed to cut them um, slightly, I mean like a lot uh, from, what, from what I am consuming now, uh, I take chocolate maybe or alternate days or even just during weekends, but I do love ice cream as well. Yeah, ice cream and chocolate. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the last question. I don't think this is the most vital. And why? Right the second, a Jovian exclusive outfit inspired by the national flower or Jalo Gamila, please. Okay, so you want me to draw immediately now, yeah? yeah. You know, that costs a lot, you know? <laughs> let me see. Um, okay, so let's do this. Okay. This so happened that Actually, I have prepared a Jovian logo inspired by our Merdeka Day that has Jalo Gemilang texture, colours and also Malaysian elements. Of course, our Bulan, Sabit and Bintang with 14 penjurus. Wow, Bulan, we have KL Tower there, we have KL CC there. I think it's a perfect logo for uh, our Merdeka celebration. So what I'm going to do is that because this 
I mean, during this period of time, streetwear is really in nowadays. And people love to wear something that is baggy, um, oversized, and very sleek. Yeah. So I'm going to design a sweatshirt. that has that volume sorry this out. so it's a sweatshirt with that volume sleeves like a puff and then pair it with a palazzo pants so the back of the sweatshirt is longer from the front as compared to the front and we're gonna have this Joven logo right in the middle so there here you go Ta -da. that was fast <laughs> yeah I do that every day so I have to be fast when it will it be so this collection will be available starting from the 15th of August itself okay. and it is definitely a very exclusive collection with limited quantity available. Um, for those who are, who are interested to buy them, uh, you can purchase them from all our J stores located in Shah Alam, Bangsar, Bangi and if you are not near to all our J stores, you can buy them online for worldwide delivery only at www.jovian.com slash sorry so www.jovian.com.my slash shop awesome thank you so much you're welcome Te. thank you so much for coming um, eh, Dato, can you one more last hmm. question what is it can you um evaluate my outfit your outfit yeah hmm okay i think you need to add a bit of colors onto your outfit so that it doesn't look too dull um you have got nice jacket on you i like it um nice uh, inner which is white color but the jeans could be slightly more uh fitter to your body to your legs and perhaps uh, heels i know it's quite tough to wear heels uh, all day long but if you want to look a bit chic and sexy wear stilettos Awesome, I'll take that in. Thank you. You're welcome, Tay. Thank you. See you guys again.